Welcome back to my film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. We're going over to ITV tonight. So today, whenever you're watching this tonight, today in the morning, it could be any time. Uh, we're going to have a look at something that's uh, all episodes are now available on the old ITVX, but it's been it was shown over three nights on ITV One. We're going to look at a little series, three episodes by about forty-four minutes, called. Maryland, please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It's great to have you on board, everything film and TV, reviews, information, vlogs, lots of different things. So you can spread the word. I'd be very grateful. And if you can give us a pressing button, if you can press that little like button, um, just to, I'm just trying to get about 10 likes for these vlogs so you can get me to that a small token figure. I'd be very appreciative. Right, what's this about? Well, it's about two sisters. Becca and Rosalind, who have grown apart over the years, but through tragic events, learn to love and respect one another all over again, so they say. Hmm. Each sister flies out to the Isle of Man. Yes, never been. Never been to the Isle of Man. It's only across the water from where I am, but uh, odd. I will go one day. We'll see the old cats with no tails. Anyway, each sister flies out to the Isle of Man to discover and repatriate the body of their mother, Mary, who they learn has been living a double life. Leaving their father Richard at home in Manchester or Manchester whilst creating another world for herself. And yes, rating wise, there's not a lot around Critic Fly. So I've got Internet Movie Database, which it's early days, so it's probably going to drop this score. 239 scores and reviews have been left. Uh, 6.4 out of 10, which sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it looks good, sounds good. But as I said, I expect that, I do expect that to drop. What do I think? Because <laughs> as I say, there's no one else I can, I can... Of course, Don Robinson DVD fee would give up after an episode and a half. I can tell you that now. So, But, uh, but Don's very very critical, very critical of things. I did last the three episodes, but uh, if it was Rotten Tomatoes, I would say this is rotten. If it was Metacritic, I would say it's negative. And if I was scoring it, if I was scoring it for Internet Movie Database, well, I'd have to give it a score, wouldn't I? But I've, personally, I've got, I don't, anything less than a five, I just don't want to insult it by saying four, three, two, one. Um, for me, this just didn't get a score. I just it didn't didn't tickle my fancy, in fairness. Sir Anne Jones stars in this, as we mentioned. I did be mentioned anyway. Sir Anne Jones does star in this as a. Uh, in this film, uh, quite a few well-known faces. E. Best also leads this, and they don't totally convince as sisters. It seems to be a bit of an age gap, which is fair enough. Nothing to say that you're born with, you know, within a couple of years of each other. Their acting is okay. Uh, that's more than can be said of some of the colleagues on this one. I mean, there is some poor acting. I will notably, one guy who really put me off notably was Andrew Knott, who stars as Sir Anne Jones's screen husband in this. And he's pretty awful. I am, obviously, I don't know if he's from Manchester. I have no idea, but he's, he, he's pretty useless. It was nice to see Stockard Channing. She's in this as well, so that was nice to see. But... Uh, the whole problem with this, not particularly the acting, they could get away with some dodgy acting if it was a good story, but it's just not deep enough you know, or emotionally impactful as to the story or, of course, uh, any, any half-decent actor to get the teeth into. There's nothing to really grab you. It does try to tug at your heartstring. It is sentimental in parts, but because you don't really care for any of the characters that much, what's the point? Uh, there's no point. You're not certainly going to, be, not going to get sentimental about this drama, and that's what it is, a drama. Some, someone said it was a crime drama, but it's not. It might have been better as a crime drama if they'd put uh, something a little bit more interesting in it. I mean, you've got a plot of a lady leading a double life, which we know can happen, but just the premise within this story is, is just silly. Unless the, the husband is the biggest imbecile going, which he doesn't seem to be. He seems to be okay. He's not got Alzheimer's or anything like that. And his two daughters, who, of course, uh, uh, themselves intelligent ladies, you know, unless they're idiots as well, it's, it's just implausible, the story. It really is. And it just adds to the total pointlessness of the whole drama. You just do want something sinister to happen, uh, to spice it up a little bit, or at least something to happen at all would have been nice. But uh, 
yeah, it's a case of uh, wake me up with this one because it, uh, it was a str- Fortunately, uh, I could zoom through the adverts because uh, I recorded it, so I didn't have to suffer the adverts on ITVX. I watched it as I recorded it on ITV. So fortunately, I only had to suffer three times 44 minutes. And it's nice to see Sir Anjo. I like Sir Anjo. She's one of my fa- favourite actors, and it's, it was good to see her in this, but that was the only plus point in it for me. Let me know what you think, guys, anyway. So it'd be great to hear your views on a, on a disappointing drama, which I was looking forward to. I was, I was just hoping there was a bit more oomph to it, which, which there wasn't. Very bland, very bland, boring and silly. Thanks for watching. Till we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.